With immense joy, I have reached a five-star luxurious hotel once more, but it is abundantly clear to me from the outset that I am at a crucial turning point. You see, at an intersection where the hotel has to make a decision either to turn left or right because going straight ahead just continuing on is a dead end. And it concludes, that is my personal forecast, similar to the Peninsula Hotel in Bangkok. The decision to go left or right was made too late and as a result it fell behind in terms of progress. Because back there is a cliff if you keep going straight ahead. I mean that when I'm here in a hotel like the Sand Reaches in Bangkok, which has a fantastic view of this golf course, it brings me joy when I wake up in the morning and open the curtain and then have this fantastic view outside. Then I enjoy this five-star hotel because that's just part of its uniqueness. In addition, we have an outstanding staff. No matter which hallways you encounter someone, they are always friendly, reserved and deserving of five stars. Always a source of irritation in the neck. Always a warm, friendly greeting that never fails to annoy. And I think that's extremely important in a five-star hotel. On top of that, there's this excellent extravagant breakfast. That is so unbelievably good. You just wouldn't believe it. That's why I'm saying it is incredibly good because it has this variety, this Chinese quality for the Japanese, for the Arab, for European, Western cultures. Everything is included. Also, there's a cooking station in the middle where you can pretend to be the chef yourself, you know? All of that is five-star superior quality, where you're just so excited to be in this hotel. The reception, a friendly hello, a professional hello. You sit down comfortably, you check in relaxed. Those are nice qualities. And also the dormans, they know their stuff, they know what's going on. There is friendliness, there is safety, there is everything available that gives me as a guest a positive aspect from the start, where I say, in this hotel, in this St. Regis, Bangkok, right here on the golf course, so you could refer to it as a park view, it is genuinely unique and cannot be compared to anything else. But that's not enough. So I come to this hotel, have booked a suite, then as an ambassador member, I get an even higher suite category. Then I come to this suite and realize that it's already showing its age. The furniture is very old. The carpets, I don't want to say that they're alive, but they really stink. These carpets need to be removed immediately. If the hotel doesn't want to make us guests not want to book anymore, then it's starting. These carpets simply lying around here that you could pick up, roll up and dispose of within a minute. The hotel has the responsibility to do that at this moment because that is unbearable. That stench coming from these carpets is unbearable for me as a guest. And I'm saying there are also carpets placed in the bedroom. You can't simply remove them that easily. But that is the crux of the matter, the crossroads. And I would like to clarify the topic once again. And that is with the example of a piece of meat. If you are a meat lover, like a good steak, for example, he adores aged steaks for at least three to six weeks. There are friends of the steak culture who would love to savor it for a duration of three months. Maybe there's already someone out there who says, I even love it when it's aged for up to six months. At some point, you definitely reach a point because we're not just talking about maturity here, but a mature piece of steak at temperature is a rotten piece of steak. That's the truth. And if you leave the thick in there for too long, you'll end up with no piece of meat left in the end. Then the maggots start to come alive, and that's exactly the comparison. So if I'm in a hotel and I compare it to a piece of meat, then it's important to grab the right moment of maturity and then say, now it tastes good to me and now I have to eat it. And that's exactly what Sodrigus has to do now. It's now at the point where the meat starts to go bad. The maturity period is over and now it's time for a replacement. We need to trim certain things from this piece of meat right now so we can keep the tender interior and not spoil the noble cut. When I say classy, I mean the view of the golf course. When I say classy, I mean the fantastic staff. When I say classy, I mean this sensational breakfast, beautiful spa and gym area, friendly reception stories. 
All that is the fine inner piece of meat of this hotel. The St. Regis Hotel still has all the qualities, even the food, the meals, all these things that are offered here in the house are excellent. Seriously. And that is the reason why I can only express, even in this review, a genuine caution to the management of the hotel. If you do not really understand and do not want to comprehend, I am informing you, and this is merely my personal forecast, I am informing you, you are on the verge of transforming into a putrid piece of meat. And if you do not rearrange now, that means taking a sharp left turn and a sharp right turn. And I will also tell you exactly where you need to start. You have to start taking out the carpets. You have to begin removing all of this furniture and replacing it with beautiful, brand new, up-to-date items of furniture. That includes the bed, towels, all of those things that have recently seen better days and now need to be replaced with new ones. And if it works out, I would gradually remove the carpet area in each room over a certain period of time so as not to disturb other guests and replace it with new, fresh, beautiful, maybe parquet or laminate flooring that is easy to maintain. This way, we can present the quality that has future in mind again, like a sandwich. Because, I mean, the hotels in this area are appearing rapidly like mushrooms in Bangkok. Seriously, it feels like a new hotel appears here almost daily. And when I consider that the Ritz-Carlton will soon open at Lumpini Park, Guests like me won't stay here anymore, but will choose the Ritz-Carlton for its stunning view. And that's the thing, it's about passing on this experience to us guests. And now they just have to start from the hotel, turning this hotel back into a gem. Because they have everything else that other hotels just don't have. Other hotels don't have such great employees, don't have this amazing quality, and above all, they don't have this fantastic view. I'm just saying Waldorf Astoria, a huge house, but the hotel rooms are located on the bottom level. And that's why you can't see anything there anymore when the skyscraper on the side grows soon. So customers won't book there anymore because they miss the view and they have to lower prices. And that's how it is here. We're renovating the rooms, do everything over from scratch. I'll take an extra 100 euros. And we'll thank you with bookings because then we'll be looking forward again to that fantastic view out there of newly renovated rooms that are worth it and that do justice to the service of their establishment in this St. Regis is currently in Bangkok. He wants to give it a special touch. And there is one more thing before we wrap up. A tradition associated with champagne commonly referred to as champagne sabling and it is called so for a very good reason. So when opening a champagne bottle with a saber, we are not talking about Prosecco here. And in this context, we are not referring to sparkling wine. Champagne is not just any sparkling wine. It is a luxurious and prestigious drink originating from the Champagne region in France. And then you have to pop an authentic bottle of champagne in order to properly observe this six o'clock ritual. Like, for example, a Rotorua, they have that in the house. And then you can't use a cheap sparkling wine from Australia. That's, in my opinion, an absolute no-go and will definitely ruin the saint. Arriving at the Centrale in New York City is extremely infuriating. Guests, not with rot gut and cheap champagne. Not just to taste, but to savour this moment and give ourselves a... Yes, yeah, special experience to remember, specifically the ritual of the sandwich, the champagne ritual of opening the champagne bottle with a saber. An absolute dream. So I can only hope that things change here and I'm looking forward to maybe coming back here in a year to see if anything has happened. <laughs>